My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here. Back at you with another review for Teen Wolf Season 5. And this is the sixth episode titled Required Reading. Now, this episode will probably be, to me, one of the more interesting episodes on this half of the season. Being for the fact that they go by Dr. Valak's advice and read the book. But instead of seeing visions involving suppressed memories involving the Dread Doctors, it's like stuff from when they were very, very little. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It kind of makes me wonder, I mean, is this just because of the fact that it's a suppressed memory? And, um, you know, I guess Dr. Valak's abilities? Or is is this um, just somehow connected to the Dread Doctors themselves? I just kind of wonder on that. You know, and I actually thought these were uh, somehow answering questions that we uh, weren't even asking to even begin with. But, you know, after ch chatting a little bit on Facebook with a friend, you know, I kind of figured it out. Because I thought it was like kind of showing the reason why Scott has asthma. You know, I know that now that there are people that are born with asthma, but there are some cases where children can get asked, but they're very rare. But um, that, w that would be the thing I enjoyed the most about this episode. What made this episode very, very interesting. The other, the thing that I did not like, I think it's no surprise if you've watched my reviews for the season thus far, it's the one, is the forced, looks like a forced growing relationship between um, Theo and Malia, which you know, it's, it's just forced. I, I don't like it at all. In no way or form do I like this, even though it kind of showed more his intentions with blackmailing both Malia and Styles. So, yeah. And, of course, this it kind of showed a little bit of the uh, Parish and Lydia stuff, which I guess isn't so forced right now. I just, I don't like it. I mean, it probably would have worked a little better if this was like a growing on thing. But it's just like full-blown, like, they've been liking each other for a little while now. Which, it, it hasn't shown any of that. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I'm one of those people that just don't like it at all. It's not forced, but it just, yeah, not, not something I care for. But um, overall, like I said, it was a very, very interesting episode, and we are only six episodes in. We only have four until this half of the season, and it kind of makes you wonder what's going to happen for the rest of the season, and where... Is this going to lead up to in the second half? Because I would I would nickname this season, season five, the season of horror. Because of how the dread doctors are, they just look like freaking creatures of horror. You know, and just with that vibe of that opening scene from last week's episode. I mean, it just seems like this season seems even darker than any season has been. That's why I give it that nickname. But like I said, really, really interesting episode. Looking forward to what happens next. And uh, also, for those of you who are fans of The Walking Dead, the companion series Fear the Walking Dead will be premiering on AMC August 23rd. So that's going to be every Sunday up until two weeks before The Walking Dead returns. So it goes on my prediction, and it gives Walking Dead, us Walking Dead fans, something to watch to so we don't get so impatient and look like we're going to shank someone. Shank. Um, but um, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on the episode, whether they be good or bad. And as always, 
My name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.